wonderful days sun first flowers warm air the spring is coming the first ball yellow balls on a red tennis field bicycling looking at beautiful girls admiring the wind in the branches of the trees and la, 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 waves of lakes and seas sunny smells and at the same time we have these messages from the war in Ukraine and what I'm always shocked with are these this, 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 this images these images I, I try to reconstitute the phenomenology of uh, battle experience uh, war experience the young boys that should be now in the time of the spring walking with nice girls and they're playing table tennis and tennis and throwing all kinds of balls and listening to music la, 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 talking about poetry do, 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 going for bicycle expeditions and surfing whatever la, la, la. skiing is still possible now the most beautiful days are in march in the alps do, la, 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 la. and they are closed in some terrible monsters of steel that are making and they're shooting and explosions and some crazy warriors of the air are flying high and metallic birds and throwing down bombs and then it's exploding and, and the phenomenology of it all so many boys are uselessly killed or wounded uh, and what kind of experiences they they have yeah? nobody can imagine yeah? it occurred to me I must go to the town hall and offer sport and poetry and art workshops for young boys uh, refugees from the Ukraine war yeah? because when young boys do not experience the full potential of their motion of the expression of the body no? or in dance in music also no? music is an expression of the soul no? in the body and sport is the expression of the soul of its desire from freedom from expansion from variation of uh, experience in the motion of the body if they don't do it no, in the right time this is like six seven eight year ten years no, and ten years of age now and so on the soul will be some to say not crashed but it will be compressed the morphogenetic field of the soul will lose its ability to expand and then the cognitive functions will set in logical thinking and will to power and uh, conceptual perception and objective perception and conceptual thinking and worries about ego and consciousness and self-consciousness all these kinds of do -do 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 heavy tools of the ego that destroy and penetrate and perforate the plastic morphogenetic field of the soul which is which is intent bent on merging with all which is around it with other software of life of all the plants and girls and lakes and seas and tennis balls and dogs and cats and oh, 
Yes, beautiful elementary, also forces like wind and sun and sky and mountains and lakes. Wow. So this must be completely changed. The European Union, United Nations and all the governments must uh, make it possible for artists and sports teachers and trainers to work with these boys the whole day. There must be some places ne? in every city, in every locality that are open all the time. And there are experts in sport, education, games and art. Maybe also a little bit of farming ne? and handcraft. And boys can come there always do, 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 any time of the day la, 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 la. La, la, la. and it will be a smaller investment than to pay for those mm, armies and their equipment and then conscript, conscript these boys or, or offer them great money to go there and who is responsible for so much suffering, so much phenological, you know, horrors? And these boys that should be getting on a bicycle and and, and a bicycling now to a sports field where they shall play uh, table tennis or tennis or basketball or volleyball. Uh, in the, the, the sunny spell of the early spring, la, 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 and girls will be going by and look at them, and may the girls will maybe play with them. Instead of that, bang, boot, and they get hit, and somebody throws bombs at them, and another guy is sitting in some steel monster and is shooting off at some other guys run in the cities and try to outsmart other guys and kill them. What is this for madness? Who is responsible for this? Ne? Philosophers have been pointing to this fact already thousands of years and no change. Ne? Those who are responsible must be punished. Ne? And there are those who have created the ideas and ideology, have, uh, have created those armies and have given orders to go there and kill other young boys. This must be really, there is a great task for the international courts and comes to kind of new Nuremberg trials to, to, to to investigate this also from the phenomenological point of view, huh? because it must be the, the human uh, charter of rights must include the right for for creative and peaceful experience no? in young days. And this falseness of the celebration of warriors in in um, in battles uh, and wars yeah this must be also investigated how did it come to so that instead of playing a wonderful backhand of forehand instead of running through sunny woods and swimming in fresh lakes and dancing and, 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 and improving the coordination and details of movement of the whole body. Ne? Instead of that, some, some killing and some exploding and some shooting is celebrated. Ne? And, and, and these people get, these boys get killed and wounded and have to live or they die and, and or they have to live with wounds. And they are disabled for the rest of their lives and can only sit in their wheelchairs alongside these playfields and, and, and feel 
feel depressed yeah. and who is responsible for that that must be investigated and this false celebration of men like warrior like motion in and battle seats must be you know explained as the aberration as a degeneration of the possibility of the body to express itself in stance and motion in peaceful times i also think that this um, existential kind of celebration of of war confrontation yeah, that at the face of death people experience kind of liberation from the ego nah? this is pathological this is pathological this is the 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 the, the result of uh, the mistakes that have that had been done in the young days young age of those boys nah? who didn't find a complete ecstasy of expression in motion of the body and maybe even in the motion of the soul which is art and music poetry ne? trying to express your admiration for a girlfriend in a poet or in a, in a music composition and trying to express your desire for perfect motion in and in, in a sport game yeah. du, 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 du. this is the right way and if it is missed then the soul is compressed and then it is living like compressed life and is easily to say manipulated by by authorities by institutions like school and universities and uh, corporation so they get into a kind of compressed life na the soul cannot exp- and then there is war and then they can go in and then they get a kind of false intoxication that now everything is going to be thrown away all my um, bi- uh, all what is binding me down to everyday life i will throw it away and i will be a hero and i will smoke and i will fight and i will yeah and this is a pathological psychologically speaking it's just a kind of substitutional kind of orgasmic substitutional orgasm that that leads to death and destruction So, ladies and gentlemen, those who are really responsible must be found, and these will be politicians and ideologists who are simply sitting behind the war lines and raising their fingers and having speeches and indoctrinating and you know, and maybe the war industry that is you know selling. weapons to anybody regardless of of the ideology main motivations profit yeah? because weapons are easily destroyed they must be destroyed It's the essence of a of a weapon that it must be destroyed or they destroy something else and then so that it must produce a new series all these evil doers who are sitting behind the controls of ideology and a war mechanisms okay what shall we do with them they must be isolated because they are sick and we put them on uh, empty islands and they will get uh, some simple equipment like spades and shovels and axes and seeds and uh, food for one season and clothing for one season and now go on if you want to 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 have ideological political uh, and business speeches you can do it forever here or you will decide that it is necessary to plant and to 
grow something and to take care of your children eh? and it will bring you down and this is therapy this should be done worldwide and young boys worldwide must go for those ecstasies of cosmogonic eras cosmogonic eras as i call it in our field of um, phenomenology so that their soul and their body experience passion ecstasy in motion and in art so that they will not be compressible the morphogenetic feel of their soul will never be easily compressed by some conceptual ideology which is actually the fulfillment of the old hippie slogan make love not war because you know love is one of the expression of the cosmogonic eros how perverted it is that these soldiers if for example pictures of their beloved in their pockets and then they die with that na and the ideology has made it feasible that they they think conceptually that they are protecting their loved ones by dying for them you know? instead of dancing with them this is a truly evil overturning of values yeah? the values of life have been changed into values of death and we have it as a one of the great premises of the biocentric phenomenology is that the that this acosmic entity x which attacks the human soul and and um, produces the ego in it and its five uh, derivations uh, which we have named success one after the another as consciousness self consciousness self consciousness personal will to power personal objective perception and personal conceptual thinking that in the last instance the goal of this attack on the human soul is the destruction of all life on the planet earth and we see it in everything and we see it in kind of palpable extreme shapes in the explosions of bombs and in the war situations in the war scenes now in the ukraine yeah? and so many young children that get caught in this war experience they are you know they are traumatized naturally and much more money and much more resources much more thinking should be devoted to the rehabilitation of these children then to the political speeches and production of more weapons and sending more weapons to the war scene that is because from the point of this phenomenology of life all who do this who support the war by any means ideological or material are the metaphysical evil on this planet are the expression of the metaphysics of evil on this planet so the solution is immediately stop not questioning who is to blame immediately must be stopped and then an investigation must go deeply and deeply and honestly into the roots of the conflicts 
and all who are really responsible and i tell you these are not those who have um, done the concrete killing or occupation or whatever they certainly must be therapeutically dealt with also you know? that is they must go for a long term therapy you know? but the real responsible ones are those who spread ideologies of death and of hate and they as i have suggested must be isolated on remote islands where can hell 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 they can have their speeches and listen and nobody is going to listen and who's going to do that <laughs> well you see why could one good for example when he was confronted with this 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 idiocy and this absurdity of war situations you know, as a young sensible writer in Dresden in 1944 the, the fire bombing of Dresden you know, where he was also a prison of war and those slaughter hives on the ground let us say he was working you know, there constructed he was constructed to work there and uh, then the bombing happened and he stayed naturally down there you know. came out after the bombing stopped and he he saw a completely different landscape and city when he went down it was a flourishing beautiful German city which was full of civilians there were no military units there and it was a nice architecture no? and he comes out and there's only heaps of ashes and dead bodies and everything is to do to do destroy Well, well, I mean, you must get crazy if you are a sensible person. So his answer was to write a novel about it and to to cope with the absurdity of it. He had to use the genre of science fiction, eh? so that he had to look at the human race from far away to to see how, what it is, what 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 race. of living organisms on a planet can get so far that it orchestrates mass killing of its own kind no do 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 no a one of the elements of science fiction in my approach is this Uh, idea of biocentric phenomenology that this beginning of the downfall of the human race uh, is caused from outside of this planet not even from outside of this planet outside of this cosmos from an a cosmos from a somehow negation of our cosmos from some realm where there is no space and no time and he Ludwig Lages the philosopher calls this entity which hits the human soul geist with the german word but uh, functionally we should call it a kind of a freezing capacity an entity which causes Uh, the freezing the slowing the the sedimentation of the dynamism of all processes in of the human soul and we can follow it in the history of mankind alongside the traces which it had had left in the culture no? do, 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 
architecture and archaeology and so on. I have talked about this somewhere else on a great lecture here on YouTube, which is called the Introduction to the Biocentric Phenomenology of Ludwig Lages. Now, there it is discussed in detail. Now I am returning to this possibility of coping with such a terrible experience for an intellectual, young, sensitive writer like Kurt Vonnegut. I would have to write also a science fiction novel which would depict that what I deem desirable, that is the immediate stopping of all those war activities, immediate, simply now, this moment, and then long-term rehabilitation of those who participated in it physically because they were misguided they have lost the ability of their souls in childhood already to expand, to enjoy motion and dance and beauty in all kinds of forms, merging the morphogenetic field of their souls with the soul of the lakes, the rivers and friends and weather and whatever, enjoying the summer of love, yeah. they must go all to rehabilitation. The false ideal of a warrior that is killing some other warrior, which is celebrated in all mythology and war novels and practically all movies of today, if you look at the YouTube, you get a violence, killing and death supported by um, some fast moving pictures uh, and, and some fast music or dramatic music has become a kind of um, a symbol, a kind of uh, psychologically speaking an expression of the deep intuition that the human race is finished, that it better kill itself instead of waiting for the slow death. Ne? Because the inspiration for life has been reduced very much yeah, in the last centuries. So, so immediate stop all violent activities in all continents, on all continents of the planet. All that participate in it shall go for a long-term rehabilitation. Those that cannot be healed must be isolated and also isolated must be those ideological uh, psychopaths that actually have started it by making propagandas no? and ideology speeches. They must be put on remote islands and there uh, they will get uh, agricultural simple equipment and then they can go and uh, show what they can do to survive. No? Okay, this is the plan. How to do it? <laughs> you know, naturally I must go for science fiction genre as called Vunegut. So, my beloved friends from Aldebaran, whom I'm contacting already since like some 10 years, during this bardic uh, explorations of the cosmic uh, morphogenetic field na, of the soul, they know how to do it. In my idea, in my vision, there will, through the influence of intergalactic bards committee, so there are bards like me here on the mattress, 19, uh, 2022, in Germany near the River Rhine, Lake Constance. So there are 
millions of other planets no? in the universe where there is with intelligent life of uh, a humanoid uh, shape and they either destroy themselves like we are about to destroy ourselves no? through the ability of their souls originally to expand further into time and space than uh, animals do and this is uh, the first stages of the development of any race of intellectual beings it's a great help but at the end the same source is going to kill them because they will expand this ability into realms such as uh, subatomic matter and genetic engineering and they will simply destroy life now on the planet which is compatible with Nietzsche's idea that there is only one source of life energy either it is fresh full and new or it is old and decadent and dying and all what it uh, undertakes when it is old dead and decadent all that it undertakes to to heal itself uh, enhances the self destruction because the, the paradigm is false no the method of healing is false some of the planetary civilizations survive and these are those that are going to help us because they survive we don't know for what particular reason why their soul was uh, you see more immune to the influence of this acosmic entity why their egos and their will power personal will power and and personal objective uh, perception and personal and conceptual thinking was easier to overcome than in our case no maybe we shall belong to a such race that will overcome it by itself yeah? maybe it's the, just the terrible crisis this is happening now the ecological military spiritual moral crisis of mankind that will give birth to bards that will describe the healing in their artistic way and this will you know change the vibration morphogen the vibration of the morphogenic field of the whole planet maybe all they will help us na and what shall what shall be done what shall happen the morphogenic the information yeah, the, the 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 software of planetary life here on earth will be changed in the software realm and the effect of it in the material realm will be this any soul of an individual being which decides to to destroy some other life organism or life entity on the planet of this biosphere intentionally will have a kind of feedback effect this decision uh, in the ego and we know that the ego is f- after all and its derivation of the ego are after all uh, aberrations or transformation of the soul of the morphogenic field of the soul so these changes that will intend to destroy life will naturally have a vibration effect on the whole morphogenic field of the biosphere on the soul of the biosphere and the feedback will be that the body the matter of that entity that has send all this destructive impulse will freeze okay the body will freeze it will not move and this will last for a substantial long time so long as the energies in this body will enable it to live na? and before 
the body shall stop metabolizing and the body disintegrates then this gradually will loosen yeah? this this freezing of the body will you know get softer and this organism which concerns practically only man now uh, because animals do not kill intentionally when they are hunting you know, and then they will wake up from this you know frozen state during this frozen state they 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 will not sleep they will be conscious they will they will they will experience yeah? and they will have time to evaluate what is what they have done or they what they wanted to do and this applies to all mankind on the whole planet not only to war situations no then they will get softer 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 and they will get first the instincts will food and water no? and then they will get back to their ego interpretation of the world and we shall see either they learn or they will continue and then it will automatically happen again and again and again and again until they come to the senses that the life and friendship and creative uh, of activity and admiration and passive admiration of the beauty of nature is more valuable than the egoistic destruction of other life forms so do 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 we have it as you can imagine uh, there will be a lot of free space suddenly uh, on the earth because so many statues will be standing there in all war uh, the situations there uh, war scenes and in all cities and we shall be surprised ne? you come home and you see somebody is frozen behind the door ne? what did he wanted to do so this is this this was uh, uh, and a and, and, and kind of um, dynamic fresco of the days of the first day of the spring 31st of March the days are getting longer we have to enjoy those longer days now which uh, combined the uh, ideas about the phenomenology of war experience with the biocentric phenomenology of Ludwig Klages and with a kind of good for a good style science fiction uh, uh, solution of all this and what has to be done immediately is that what we can do each of us and i because i have seen the ukrainian refugees and maybe there are also some other from Iraq and uh, other countries here in Germany so i will do, 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 go there to the town hall and offer sport and art education for young boys ne? so that we can prevent the future do, 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 the the war like future pam 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 and i'm also sending this on youtube to you because once it is on youtube yeah, it is the electromagnetic field the information field of the planet earth yeah? and the birds on aldebaran and other planets are going to receive it to well excuse me this was a kind of materialistic mistake of mine the birds are receiving it now directly from my soul because the quality the ability of human soul to expand in time and space is unbounded uh, just in the moment when you create it so the birds are already hearing it hello help us or teach us